Hey, Griff Hamlin here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a, a really quick little lick, but it's something that comes up a lot. Um, for example, uh, Catfish Blues by Muddy Waters uh, is, is very much in this style. It's just kind of a slow... And then he does that little lick. Uh, something like Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix or, uh, or Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, uses that same kind of thing and it's this open it's this bend in in sort of the open e uh, blues position so i want to show you how that works today and just show you some options for how you could use it so the first thing is what i'm going to be bending is the second fret uh on the it's an a on the third string and i'm going to bend it up a whole step so make it sound like that and then back down and then pull off to the open third string and then finally I'm going to hit the uh, the second fret on the fourth string now that may seem fairly simple but it is a little bit tricky to get it to come out just right. It's also a little bit harder to bend because you're on the third string and not the second or the first, as we often do. Uh, plus, the lower you get down on the fretboard, the, it's slightly more difficult to bend uh, just because you're close to the, uh, to the nut here. So it's a little bit of a challenge, or maybe, to get that up. But once you get it, I'm, I assure you it'll be worth it. You know, don't be afraid to use a helper finger. You can see I have my first finger, which is helping me push it up while my while my middle finger makes sure that it stays on the fretboard. My first finger can help push it up. And then really it's just a matter of putting that lick into the rhythm of whatever you're doing. So if you're doing something like Catfish Blues, which is very slow, And all I'm doing during the, the vocal part is just hitting a low E. And that's basically how almost that entire song goes. Uh, for something like Voodoo Child, it's, or Voodoo Child, I guess I should say. Uh, and there's going to be subtle variations depending on which version of this you hear, but I'm basically playing an E. And what I'm doing on this one is I'm not really I'm not really pushing down on the third string, so I get a power chord instead of a full blown major chord. It gives it a slightly different sound. Here's the power chord version. There's the major chord version. So I'll do something like. A, third on the sixth string then I'll hit the second fret the E this is the octave um, on the fourth string and then I'll like maybe hit the top two strings open and then the lick so you put that all together and you get something like this And it's a little bit messy, as you can hear, I occasionally hit the wrong string. And it doesn't really, it's one of those things that doesn't have to be perfectly clean all the time. It's, it's kind of an attitude sound. Um, as I was thinking about what other tunes I know that use this, uh, Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravitz came to mind. Which is the same lick. Uh, second fret on the fourth string, second fret on the fifth string, open fourth string, second fret on the fourth string. So it's the same idea, but in a more rock context. And I'm sure there are, you know, a bunch of other places. I know I've heard that same idea used in many other places over the years. That's just what I could think of off the top of my head right now. But now that you've heard that sound and played that sound, you'll recognize it when you hear it in other places. So 
If you happen to hear a tune uh, that has that exact same riff in it, you know, leave a comment uh, so everybody else can, can find it there. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know it's a short one today, but it uh, should be fun, and I will see you soon.